hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel i'm the amazon deb and today's video i'll be doing a movie review of the film titled still falling by dambito and karashi i hope i pronounced that right and this is my first time of doing a movie review here on my youtube channel and because i actually feel this movie is worth it and i will just be sharing my take on the pro and the con of this movie and why you should see the movie and why you shouldn't see the movie just let's get into this This movie was released on the 12th of February 2021. I know, I know, I know, I know. I am late, right? It's almost like a month and I'm just doing this review. But it's just because I actually just saw this movie this movie, and I felt, you know, it's worth it. Also, the movie is staring great actors and actresses such as Sharon Oja, who played the lead character, alongside Daniel Etim Effiong. I think I pronounced that right. Also, the movie features other great characters such as Liz Amei and she She's popularly was you know we know as Liz Benson but yeah Liz Amechi better Umoju Unjo Unjo Wu I hope I pronounced that I'm sorry Dr. Panel Percy Paul um Kunle Remi Zil Lulu Okonko Lara Fidel and Shivala Yanduma I hope I did not murder any name if I do please forgive me now let me quickly give you guys a little brief story of what this movie is all about and I would actually not try to spoil this movie so that you know when you also get to watch it it's also be like brand new to you the movie shows us the lead character Sharon Oja who played the character Bono Siaba Siabakuku Siabakuku I think that's what the name is pronounced and also alongside with um Daniel Etim Efon who was you know play the character lagging in the movie now apparently these two seven years back were in a very toxic relationship yes a very toxic relationship you are that right and seven years after they are now seeing they are now meeting and now when the when they're in a toxic relationship it ended very very bad and you know the the lady was the one that um, gets the bonds of the relationship but seven years she's been able to groom herself back like she's been you know she's not an influencer she's making the money she's living the life and now seven years later also laggy also is now a pilot and is now a supposed pastor it's about to be your date to be a pastor seven years later they all meet up and bono is not ready to let go of the past few years she act actually started dating again but all of this was all in bono's plan to you know do a revenge back to laggy and this revenge did cost laggy a whole lot a whole lot that's what i'm gonna say i'm gonna leave it as that so that when you watch the movie you actually know what it cost laggy i don't want to actually spoil the movie even if i'm reviewing the story do you understand now let me just dive right into the point i want to make concerning this movie why i'm doing this review why you should see this movie or why you should not see this movie now let's get into it i have like five points which some of them actually have like branches but i just you know capture them five good points so let's get started number one that you have to know about this movie is that it's a christian based movie or should i know don't let me say christian it's a faith-based movie yes a faith-based movie you didn't see it's coming <laughs> I also didn't see it coming like i didn't know it was a faith-based but it was it is a faith-based movie and the beautiful thing about this movie is that it's a faith-based movie but it was portrayed beautifully in a way that you never see it coming but it came out so well it was beautiful it was a faith-based storyline and yo yo it was like i've never been in a cinema hall and they are calling scripture and i'm Open, I'm taking my phone to go through my Bible passage. This movie made me do that. I was in the hall, and when there was one of the scene which it was like a very amazing scene for me, like my best scene so far in that movie, because it got me teared up. Even though I think a lot of things got me teared up. I'm emotional when it comes to movie. Don't tell anybody. Anyways, <laughs> that particular scene got me teared up, and that was when Bono was discussing with her mom, and where her mom was sharing what God had told her to tell Bono, and how Bono was like, "Oh my God! Like God has actually gave God gave me this scripture seven years back, and." is actually giving you the scripture right now to tell to tell me and that scene was just so emotional thinking about it right now i'm like oh my god oh that was that was deep and then 
the scripture you know when bono's mom was saying the scripture guys i had to take out my phone and open my bible like i want to go through this scripture with you actually felt it was for me i don't actually felt that scripture was for me it's one of that faith movie that's because he actually talks on a whole lot like he talks on forgiveness it's just a very amazing faith-based movie and the storyline was beautifully written was beautifully it was beautifully done i gotta say that also which you know talking about it being a, a faith-based movie moving on to the storyline yes because i think i've already said that's my second point the storyline of this movie Whew. I think I've actually in a way talked about, you know, my second point also. Because I was going to talk about the storyline, you know, my best scene, how everybody delivered. Oh my god. Oh my god. The storyline, the characters. Guys, do you know this movie actually just had 10 people in the movie? Just 10 people acted this movie. The delivery of this character, of the actors and actresses. Whew. They delivered their line they delivered their line like they killed it like they brought their game like it didn't seem like oh it was just a movie i felt i felt it like the scene we are delivered in a way that it will get you you feel like oh my god this is real you feel connected i'm definitely sure that apart from you know i said it's a faith base i'm definitely sure a lot of prayers would have gone into this movie because it definitely did touch my life actually i would say that this movie actually touched my life and it was so beautiful like and the way the character delivered their role it was so convincing it was the oh lord please aim like guys the actors and the actresses in this movie they really did a lot nah their acting is beautiful like hands down everybody came through with their role is it bono is he a friend is he a mom Oh, the friend delivered a very wonderful role. Like, a very wonderful, she delivered. Or is it Laggy? Or is it Laggy's friend? Oh, the, the Laggy, um, the guy that was Laggy's friend. Oh, God, that was like, that, those, I think those were used like the comic relief. But they actually delivered their role beautifully with the guy's um, um, wife. Hey. Hey, it was beautiful. Guys, let me go to the next point. Also, before I also even leave this point, I talked about they used 10 characters and 10 main characters because there was a scene where we had like church, we had choir, so of course we had those extra people, but like the main people were just 10. And why I actually love that it was not a lot of character as setting themes or just throw a lot of influencers into it or throw a lot of celebrities into their movie. These ones were Apart from Liz Benson, um, Dr. Pani Pels, um, which he was the bishop, like his father, I am then Sharon and Danny Ertim. The other people, I don't think they are, they are like big, like they're not those big act, like I think they're like upcoming. I don't know if I can use that word upcoming, but this one that they did, they are no longer upcoming. Like maybe I, I haven't just seen them a lot in movies but they deliver their roles and the fact that they use 10 characters you clearly can remember what each and every of these characters did like it was beautiful and every of these characters definitely brought in something to the to the to the to the movie like it wasn't like oh this character just showed for showing sake or do you want to talk about laggy's boss like everybody you can always remember their scene like even for even like his boss is like how many scenes did she appear in but i could still remember her right now like it's like the but i could still remember her like the character delivered and the movie was beautiful next my third point about this movie is the songs that they used in this movie yes guys you heard it the songs <laughs> oh i have a favor i have one thing to ask please i beg of you if you actually watch this movie and you know any of the songs that were used in the movie because i actually stayed to see like the um, what's it called the rolling car the rolling call i mean a cast i mean i wait seeing that rolling stuff so that i can see like oh who sang this song so i can go and track this song but it was so it was moving so fast i couldn't get old of all the names and all but if you know those that sang those songs like ooh, oh or is it the song that was sang at the funeral oh my jesus or the one that sang the first time we saw the choir singing in the church these songs are beautiful like they are touching and they are songs that for each scene 
it makes sense. The songs are helping the scene. They are enhancing the scene. Like they are bringing the storyline of that particular scene into, into making it believable for you. It's also, it's also invoking our emotion and making us go along with the storyline. The songs are amazing. They are Christian songs that are so beautiful. Also, there are songs that some of the songs are sung in, I think, Aousa of no, I don't think it's Fulani. Maybe Aousa language. I think. I think. If I'm wrong, if you've watched the movie and you think it's not Aousa language, and you know the language, let me know in the comment section. But I think it's Aousa language they sang the song, especially the one where the choir were, where where, um, where we are seeing and um, Doctor Pa, um, the bishop was the one, you know, leading them, and Lagi was just coordinating that one. At first, when they were actually singing the song, I was like, okay, okay, but. I didn't know when I stay. I even started singing along with them. That's how beautiful it was. And you see that funeral scene, the song they sang there. I want that song. I want that song. <laughs> it was beautiful. If you have a playlist of the song, please, please, eh, drop the link in my description box. Message, tell me to message you. I'll message you. I I want those songs. I want the playlist of those songs in this movie. Those songs are beautiful. Moving on to the next point, which I'll talk about the emotion and the delivery of the role which i kind of stated as my point two so i'll leave that out because i already said that it's going to be repetitive and let me just say my fourth point would be about the wardrobe and the air that was like the wardrobe yeah wardrobe and costume of in this movie i keep saying beautiful and amazing but i don't know if i can find another adjective to describe this for instance sharon Oja, that's bruno who played the character bruno the time she was in the church where she went to disturb laggy's um administration you see that gown she wore remember i was like oh yes this gown to church but it was fine it was hot like it was they were giving me hotness like it was so beautiful and you see the hair that bono rocked from beginning to the end because yeah she didn't change her it was that same which she rocked from beginning to the end i love that air i love that short pixel cut it, it was really made for sharon Oja. like it was it framed her head so beautiful i actually want to make such kind of cut that one sharon Oja had that pixie shot take my money you take my money so beautiful he framed her head so well then the other character for instance bono's friend which is um kokara or kora kara all her outfits were all ankara's like it was intentional and her hair which i did not like because i'm not really like a dread person but the hair and a dressing interpreted her role beautifully should we talk about the mom should we talk about laggy in his pilot suits oh that was beautiful also i just remember this scene when um bono was going on i think vacation or so with our girls you see those set of girls and bono walking to the to the private jet vibe like vibes like that's me and my girls we are going on a trip you know you can't tell me nothing <laughs> that was just i was like who pure vibes like the the costuming of this movie was beautiful was on point like hands down was on point then my last point about this movie which is kind of like a negative one but it's not really that negative but yeah i just felt you know, i can't keep saying all the old nice nice things about this movie there must be one thing i don't like about the movie right you know you know we all human beings will say something to complain about so yes i have an issue with the movie which was there was one unnecessary scene i'm someone that when i watch something and i'm seen a scene please make sure that that scene is doing something it's not just a scene that you just feel oh let me just add this scene to this movie now the scene i'm referring to was the scene where one of um, bono's friend was training a party an all-white party that all-white party was an unnecessary scene for me that's what i think because it only showed oh yeah bono was thinking cora was there to tell her that oh abikara was there to tell her oh stop thinking and all of that that was it but of course we know that bono was already emotional about the whole situation why do you have to show me that scene and remember I was like oh my god the money they would have spent in doing that scene alone because it was like an all-white party there was food there was drink i'm like the money that would have been spent in that like it was unnecessary you all like you could have saved your coin you could have saved your budget but i just did not get the reason for that particular scene but in all this movie killed it period this is the only 
thing I have with the movie, like this particular, oh, that particular scene, like that's, I think that's the only bad thing I can say about this movie. But apart from that, this movie was amazing, hands down. The message of the story, oh my God, at, oh Lord, I cried. Just so you know, I cried. It did minister to me. It definitely spoke to me and I'm gonna do better. That's all I can say. But yes, please, it's still in the cinema. Please don't let it, it's still in the cinema. It's still popping. I feel people are actually not even talking about it like that because it came out, I think, on the 12th, which was like two days before Valentine's Day. But I don't think, I don't hear people talking about this movie and I don't know why, but I'm gonna be a, a spreader and carrier of the word for this movie because it's an amazing movie that i think everyone should see so please if you haven't seen this movie please go to the nearby cinema in your location if you are in nigeria and please go check it out also if you are not in nigeria you are just gonna have to wait till it's on netflix i hope it goes on netflix it needs to be on netflix it needs to be for it not just for now it needs to be on netflix it's a very good series you know those nine netflix nigerian movies on netflix that i'd be angry that why is it on netflix with this one you will not be angry you will be like you know what nigeria netflix are doing better with this particular movie and if you're in nigeria please don't do yourself go to the nearby cinema and just watch this movie this movie is not a sponsored anything you know don't get it twisted <laughs> they are not paying me shishi but this is just me knowing that this movie is a very good one it would definitely bless someone and why don't i just bring it here and you know be a channel of blessing also so people you know can get blessed why not <laughs> you know something different here on this channel but it's still in line with what i do you know reviewing you know things i like this you know that's what this show is all about thank you for watching this particular review yeah i felt like sharing this and i hope this blesses you if you did enjoy this review of this movie and you want me to review more movie please let me know but also please i like to review things i like like i will not just review any poppy movie in the cinema it should be a cine a movie that i feel it's worth it and then i'll bring it on here to review but thank you for watching i will see you in my next video if you're not subscribed to my channel please do well by clicking the subscribe button share uh, share this video like this video and i'll see you in my next video bye